Hello everybody, this is Paul. Today's lesson is going to be on prime factorization. Now, an integer larger than 1 can be written as a product of prime numbers. I went ahead and wrote down the first few prime numbers right here from 2 to 19. So basically what this means is that any number larger than 1 can be written as a product, and by product I mean multiplication, of prime numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a few examples of this. So the first number I want to start with is 36. Now 36 is the same thing as 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Now 6 is the same thing as 2 times 3. And we can go ahead and do it to this 6 as well. 2 times 3. So basically what this says now is 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 equals 36. And if you notice from the previous paper here, 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. So we've broken down 36 into its prime components. Um, it doesn't really matter the order that we break it apart. We could actually say 36 is the same thing as 9 times 4. Okay, 9 is the same thing as 3 times 3. And 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. So once again, we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Here we have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So the order doesn't matter. Either way, it both equals 36. So it doesn't matter how you factor it. If you factor it into 6's, factor it into 9 and 4, and then reduce down, um, you're going to end up with the same result. Um, just to illustrate this a uh, little bit more, we could also take 36 and we could break that down into 12 and 3. And 12 could be broken down into 4 and 3. We'll bring this 3 down since it's already prime. And 4 gets broken down into 2 and 2. And once again, we have the same four numbers. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 equals 36. Okay, so let's try another number. Let's try the number 45. Now, one way we could do this, we could say 45 could be broken into 15 times 3. 15 times 3 equals 45. Okay, 15 can be broken up into 5 times 3. We'll bring this down since it's already prime. So 5 times 3 times 3 equals 45. And 5 and 3 are both prime numbers, so we've broken down 45 into its prime components. Okay, let's try 45 a different way. 45 can be broken down into 9 times 5. 5 is prime, we carry it down. 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. We get the same result. 3 times 3 times 5 equals 45. Same as we got from above. Okay, let's see. One more example and then I'll be done. Let's try the number 99. 99 can be broken apart into 33 times 3. Um, let's just do two at a time here, save some time. Um, another way we could do this is 11 times 9. Okay, 33 times 3 equals 99. 11 times 9 equals 99. 3 is prime, we'll bring it down. 33 is 11 times 3. 11 is prime, we'll bring that down. 9 can be broken apart into 3 times 3 equals 9. So we factored it two different ways, and we ended up with the same results. 11 times 3 times 3 equals 99. 11 times 3 times 3 equals 99. The order that you break it apart into prime components doesn't matter. As long as you do it correctly, you will get the same results, and you can represent any positive whole number in terms of its prime components multiplied together. 
Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, you can watch all of my videos at learnmathtutorials.com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.